So hello, this, this is um, our first uh, session as part of our um, planning and finalizing the degree, the, the group for the fall term. And I'm going to talk today about developing your portfolio in Mahara. Um, all of us have been in Mahara, have done our uh, profile pages and have um, been part of the group, have introduced ourselves in the group, but um, now we need to move on and uh, start thinking about how to use Mahara uh, for some of the other educational planning activities. So um, what I'm going to go through briefly today are um, just a little bit on navigating Mahara, uh, beginning with some things that you already know, but just as a review, and then talk about how to add content in Mahara and then specifically how to add uh, portfolio content then to your page. And an important part is sharing your page so that your mentor and any others you want to see it can see it. And then we'll uh, get to questions. So um, I decided to do screenshots because um, even though this room is great um, and you can share a desktop, it, it's, you get a little dizzy if, if there's a lot of moving around within an application. So um, I decided to go with screenshots to make it a little bit, hopefully, um, smoother. So this should look familiar to all of you. It's your dashboard within Mahara. So you've uh, done your username and password and, and gotten here. Um, I think you all know that if you click on your name, that um, it then brings you to your profile page. And I find that really helpful because that's where I can then connect with my friends like Ed and my mentor. Um, you, um, I don't think many students have been doing this, but you certainly can also become friends with um, other students, and you can see them all in um, your um, in the group. Um, so from this page, uh, what I often do is click and go to my profile just to, to check to see um, what's going on there. Um, note from this page I'll be mentioning later, um, this is where you can also do uh, things like create pages, which is what we'll be talking about. Um, and so let's go on though to, from the dashboard, um, as I said, uh, you can get to Ed from a whole variety of ways, but one way is from your profile. And here's Ed. Uh, hopefully all of you have been enjoying getting to know Ed. Um, and who, as I'm sure you've seen, has a lot of uh, great information. And um, one thing I just wanted to note here is that we also are going to use Ed for some general an announcements. So for example, this session is in there and then the um, two upcoming sessions. So keep an eye on Ed uh, for the announcements and also certainly for all of his information about um, uh, the course and, and certainly about educational planning um, resources. All, all of you, um, I believe, have friended your mentors. And so uh, this is my mentor page, um, but uh, you, you will uh, be going to your, um, your individual mentor pages. And again, this is a, a, a great resource um, where uh, you can find information um, uh, specific to your mentor, but also all of the mentors have this area in here with information about um, planning your degree. And the one I wanted to highlight is um, the how to proceed part. And so from the mentor page, you, you can go to the how, how to proceed and, and get um, your um, a set of directions as far as, as um, next steps in terms of planning your degree. Uh, note that there is a, a calendar in, in here in the how to proceed. And uh, we're not going to go over this too much uh, today. Um, but um, uh, there was some discussion in the group about how to really schedule uh, your work in this course because there is a fair bit of open-endedness to it and a lot of individual planning. So if you want to do that, you can do that. Also uh, work with your mentor because your mentor may also have a set schedule uh, for you to be keeping. Um, but in, in terms of um, planning your degree, um, the focus today is on creating your planning and finalizing portfolio within Mahara. There is an example here. I'm not going to go 
through that, although you're, you're welcome to take a look at that. I'm actually going to uh, start from the beginning and show you how uh, to set up um, a, a page. So how would we do that? Well, we first actually have uh, need to go back and create content. Now, one thing that, um, and I'm, I'm going to go back. You'll see from your dashboard is is that there are uh, different ways um, of working in, in Mahara. First of all, you need to create some of your content within Mahara. And then you create the pages to put that content in there. So the first thing we'll start off with is, is creating um, the content. And your mentor may have even uh, said to you already um, to please create a journal. So this is where you would uh, create a journal. You would actually do it from the content tab within Mahara. And out of the content tab, you may, you probably already, many of you have gone to the profile pictures part in the profile. It goes automatically to profile. And you've put in profile pictures. Um, but there's also a place to upload files. Um, and you also can upload files when you go to your page. But if you want to put some content in, you can do that here. And this is where you will create your journals and also add content to your journals. And I'll talk a minute about the resume. Um, there's directions um, already on your mentor site about this is where you would set up your calendar. So to uh, create your journal, you would click on content and then journals. And then you would click create a journal. And then you could give a name to the journal and then uh, start adding to the journal. As you can see, you can have multiple journals. So I have quite a, a few in here that I've, I've started and have been adding entries to. You can also uh, and note um, that um, you can do a resume right within Mahar. Now, uh, your mentor may tell you uh, that uh, you should uh, do this, uh, or it may be optional. Um, I have one um, other student who went through and, and found this, this helpful. Um, here you would put in your introduction. It's on the introduction page. Um, it's a nice way to organize previous education and previous employment, which is where my student used it. Um, you can talk about achievements. And then the nice thing is then you can share parts of your resume um, on a, a page, on a portfolio page. So you may find this helpful. Um, to, to use. So all of that has to do with content. Now once you have the content, then you put the content in a page. It's a little confusing because the page is really a portfolio, but it's just a single page within a, a portfolio. The portfolio is a broader term. So from that, again, um, the, the dashboard, and instead of clicking on content, you would click on portfolio, and then choose page, and then choose create a page. So once you click on create a page, you then get, again, the information to put in a title, and can go ahead and create your page. Once you've gone into, so I, I created the page. I gave it the title, My Educational Planning Portfolio. And now I'm in what's called edit mode for my page. Now the nice thing about um, uh, Mahara is, is that actually building the page is, is pretty easy and I would say almost fun because each of the images here are, are actually almost like uh, a, you know a, a pasting thing. So all you have to do is click on that and drag it to where you want it. And the directions are right up here. So you just click on it and drag it. Now, it also, um, as, as you hover over it, it tells you what each of these things does. So uh, you have the choice of files, images, and video. And so that's what this is on now. So this is for a single uh, file, um, a folder, a collection of photos, HTML text, 
a single image or um, some embedded content. Um, but the file one is the one's most interesting, and I will go over that one specifically later. Um, and I'll go over some of these as, as well. Um, as you can see, I'm just going to go over this very fairly quickly. Um, you, what you need to do uh, is, is maybe look at this video again and then go right into Mahara and, and play around with it. It's very easy to create a page. It's also very easy to delete the page, delete components. It's, it's, it really is a, 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 an environment where um, playfulness is, is highly encouraged. The first thing you want to do, um, though, before even you, you get to put in any of those components is um, to edit the layout. And this will be on the, the top of your, your screen right there. And so if I click on Edit Layout, I get Choices. As you see, you get a wide range of choices. I um, tend to use either two columns equal width or two columns larger uh, right column. I found that three columns, and actually there's more beyond here, um, more columns, is a little bit too noisy and, and the content doesn't wrap around very well. Uh, so uh, that's what I, I recommend, but you certainly can play around with some of the others. And you can change the layout as you, as you go through, so it's, it's something that can be changed. Um, this is a place where uh, you're um, pulling out information um, from your content area. So you've already put information about yourself in your profile. And if you click on the Profile tab, which is under here, so if you click on Profile, you'll get um, the, the box. You, you get two choices. One, and the main one is the, the pull from your profile information. You'll get this box, and you can choose what you want to show on your profile. So I've chosen to show my first and last name, um, the introduction, and there's a place to put an introduction underneath. And my, um, I cho choose which, which profile picture to use and whether to show my um, email address. Uh, you click Save, and it goes in. Now the part about adding files. Now, when I talked about content before, I, um, I, I, I said you, you could add files at that, that point. These are files that have been added through um, the content part in Mahara. But in addition, and I often just do this, you can upload a file right here. So let's say you've uh, done a, um, a um, draft file of, of your, your goals, um, or you've um, um, made a, a, a copy of, of your um, uh, draft degree program and you want to share it, or any file that you have on your computer. So you can go, this is a very typical uploading a file, just hit browse, find the file, um, um, enter it, and it will tell you when it has um, uploaded. And then again, save and it will show up. Another thing that you may want to choose and see up in here is under general, and, and this is um, in this section here, uh, new post. And, and what that does is it can pull the uh, posts out of your, um, uh, our group, planning and finalizing, or any other group that you belong to. So if you want to have, um, on your page, what the new posts are, you can do that. And all you have to do is to choose form post and choose the group. So I chose planning, finalizing, degree. Note also here that um, you choose the maximum number of posts to show. And maybe you only want to show one at a time. And it will show one at a time. And then if you choose that, there will just be a little place where people can click to see the, uh, the other posts. And then again, choose save. This is a very important step um, in terms of um, uh, your work on your portfolio. Because everything you've done so far has been for you. 
and so only you can see the content you've put in. And in addition, only you initially can see any page that you create, which is great because then it's it's in draft form. You're uh, you, you're you're just working on it. But at the point in which you want other people to see it, you have to um, choose to share. And I'll go back. Um, And you can click right on here to share a page. So you can see there's two layers. There's a top layer and then there's the smaller. So you click on here to share page. And what you will get is this screen. You can also get to the screen from your dashboard. But if you say share page, note that the page here is, is checked. So this is the page that I'm sharing. And then you have choices as to who to share. Now, you can um, make it public, which means that not just people within this Mahara group can see it, but actually anyone who Googles uh, your name would find it, or you know, it's, it's findable. It's, it's in the public arena. And there are some pages that you may create. Uh, I've done some that I'm very happy to have publicly available. You may want to just add login users. You may just have um, your friends um, be able to see it. Um, Empire State College, um, this, the site we're on is also uh, through purchase. So we have our own site. Um, there are more people beyond our plain and finalizing group, but if you want that whole group to see it, you can do that. You can also share it with your group. And if you do that, it will show up on the group page as a shared page. Further down in, in here, you can choose individuals to share it with. Um, there's also a place, um, if you click further, where you can allow um, your page to be copied. And as you notice, some of we've done that with some of our pages so that you can copy them. Note that at the moment, I've done logged in users and shared this with the group, so it shows up on the group page. Again, you would do save. And note, you can change this at any time, too. So, um, But this is a way for you to control who can see your page. And here's the product. So this is how it looks right now. I got this section in here by dragging in profile information. And you can see the profile information that I selected. I. Um, chose to um, put in two files. And you should take a look at this, because one of them is just a sample um, a business degree in, in business. And the other, actually, um, will be adding this uh, to Ed. You'll note in Ed there are already some sample student rationales. And actually, they're annotated. So you should definitely take a look at those. Um, this is a, um, a, a student. You may recognize her name. She now works for the college, college Teresa Fembalis. Um, and she's given permission for her rationale to be viewed. Um, Mahara Adventure is the journal that I've decided to share. And you can see that I've allowed two per th um, to show. And because there are more, there's a nice um, area here where people can um, then see further ones. That way, it doesn't take up so much of your page. And I have the recent forum posts in here. So you can see where I added that. These are all movable. If I don't like, for example, I want to move my journal further down, I would just click up here in the edit. You have to have be in edit mode. I click edit this page and, and, and move it to where I want it. So you can see things are easy to move around, easy to put in. Well, I've talked very quickly, <laughs> um, hopefully not too quickly. Um, so um, any uh, questions? Oh, yeah, uh, Geronimo or, or Bill, you're our, our two main ones we're looking for questions from. But um, certainly, Susan, Adi, and Kirsten, um, if there's something you, um, that I said that wasn't clear, why don't you uh, chime in as well? And I'll put my mic off. And Geronimo, if, if um, uh, Bill is having problems with his mic, but if you want to give your mic a test, you can go ahead and, and try that too. Uh, 
um, Geronimo, that's a great question. Um, the profile, your profile page is actually viewable by um, everyone in the Empire State College site. So that's why you probably on your profile page would just put some general information um, about yourself. Um, uh, I mean, you're within a protected site because it's it's um, it's within the college, but um, but uh, your, that's why your portfolio information probably would be best on a, you know another page. Um, and um, but as I said, your 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 pages themselves will um, you have to identify how you want them them shared. So they they're a, a little more um, pr protected. Um, You'll note uh, probably if, as you go to your page, um, actually, uh, because you can, you don't have to, but one of the options on your profile is to list your current pages. And on many of your pages, it's probably saying none that you can see with a little smiley. And that's, that's why, because um, you, you have to make them uh, viewable. And for example, if you said all logged in users, then all logged in users could see that on your page. If you say friends, then only your friends would, would actually see your page. Oh, that's strange, Bill. Um, I'll, um, I'll email um, you the, um, the slideshow, and of course, you'll be seeing the re recording. Um, so hopefully, the recording picked up this, the slides. OK, both really good questions. I'm sorry about that, Bill. Lady, I just wanted to say thank you. That was um, really nice and great summary and great um, to see everything in action. I think sometimes we forget about some of the steps in between, so it was very useful. Um, I think my only comment perhaps is that you know, for, for the people who are actually going to watch this later on and for Bill and Geronimo is to think, like you just said, you have your profile page, which is the one that came with the account. You're going to look at that as that's your front page. But now it's time to work on separate pages that you can control. And perhaps it's more comfortable if, um, if you don't feel totally comfortable sharing with the rest of even the at planning group, just share that one page first with your mentor. And once you're ready and you think that this is something you would like to share with the rest, then change the, um, to include everyone on the at planning group. Um, I like your Mahela adventure. I think that should be part of that weekly reflection that we are asking. That would be a great space to put your weekly reflection. And then uh, the files be the files that you're going to share your draft um, for comments. So I don't know what Susan and Christine think, but thank you. Thank you, Adi. Yeah, Ger Geronimo, that, that does sound like a great plan. And um, uh, do just be as playful as, as you possibly can with this. There's no um, one way to work through Mahara. There's no one way to do this. And actually, uh, we're all kind of discovering with you different uh, ways and best ways to, to use Mahara for um, ed planning and, and for working on developing your degree program. I'm just going to end the recording right now um, because I think that's an, an, enough for the recording um, and then we can continue questions as people want.